Good morning. So I today I'm actually going to film a full what I eat in a day. We are 10 weeks out now, so we're dropping the carbs a little bit today. I weighed myself this morning. I didn't really do anything. I got up, I weighed myself, did some vacuums. That's about it, but we're gonna do breakfast now. Weighed at 1.30 this morning, which means I lost a pound. Um, took some progress pictures, and now we're gonna make some breakfast. So I'm gonna make some oatmeal, and I'm gonna make some eggs and peppers. And I'm also going to prep out um, the rest of the peppers that I have for tomorrow and the next day. And then I'm probably gonna have to get some more. So here we go. Let's make some breakfast. And chop them up. I don't like eggs, so I've been eating them with peppers. I did eat them with cinnamon the other day. It was kind of weird. Probably gonna do it again. Cause I had it like at night with rice cake. I don't like egg yolk. Egg yolk is weird. Egg yolk is bad. Not bad, just weird. I don't like it. We're going to cut these up. Can you guys see me cutting? I'll turn to the side, I'll cut like this. Let's just skip through this. What we're gonna do is we're gonna measure out three ounces, uh, three ounce portions of peppers. So that's about how much I eat at a time. And then we're gonna put them into little baggies. Okay, you know what? I'll come back when I'm done with this. All right, so basically I cooked this in a little bit of water, let the peppers get soft, and now I'm going to add some spices. I'm gonna add some cumin. Um, I'm gonna add some garlic, a little bit of onion powder, salt, pepper, and then I add everything with the bagel seasoning to the eggs. Okay, so I'm gonna add that in, and then I'll add the egg whites. All right, so you just keep stirring until it's cooked how you like it. I literally like burn them. I like it cooked so much. While that was cooking, I made some oatmeal. I just used the instant oatmeal, it's so yummy. Some of this um, sugar-free caramel syrup to it. Just to give it a little more flavor. Okay, we are making meal number two as well as prepping a little bit. So we're doing some mahi. Broiling in some foil with some lemon juice. Is it supposed to be smoking like that? I don't know. Some jasmine rice. I'm gonna make a bunch of it for the week. Yeah. What else do I have to say? Not much. I'm gonna make a, another coffee. I'm thirsty for some coffee and I'm gonna drink a bunch of water. That's what I'm gonna do. Drink a bunch of water right now. Here we go. Oh, it's our, I already filled it with water. Ready? Let's go. I'm gonna make a little Americano. So I decided I would show you guys. Right, so first we're gonna measure out the espresso. I'm gonna do iced here, so I put some water and some ice in a glass, and I'm gonna measure out my espresso. Press it down here. Now she's in there. I'm gonna measure out my oat milk and just prepare that uh, mason jar with measurements on the side, since I do track everything so that I can measure it out. So I'm gonna measure this out uh, and any syrup that I want in there, so. I'm probably gonna add some caramel syrup. Been on a caramel kick lately. As my rice boils, gonna add some to my oat milk. Uh, so beautiful, so beautiful. Alrighty, we are gonna add our espresso into our water. And then we're gonna add some oat milk look how beautiful okay and that's perfect that's the perfect color that's it cheers all right i think i'm also going to do some asparagus while we're cooking because might as well prep some asparagus now so i've got all this asparagus i'm gonna cut off i think i'm gonna broil it with some garlic and some lemon and see if that works. I I've never cooked asparagus, but we're just gonna go for it. I think I'm gonna cut off these pieces. It just feels right. I didn't even look it up. What part of the asparagus do you cut off? The best way to trim asparagus is also the most obvious way with a chef's knife and a cutting board. Well, no fucking shit, Sherlock. Line up all the spears in a row and slice off the ends. 
Yeah, I was right. A little mixture to put on top. I Dish. I'm gonna do some lime juice. Just feels right. Okay, and then I'm gonna add some of this chopped garlic because it has like some juice, garlic juice in it. <gasps> oh dear God. It's fun. Okay, a lot of garlic. That's a lot of garlic. I don't know. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna check on the fish. I'm vlogging meal prep. Now I'm making asparagus. So I'm gonna spray this. Okay. And then I'm gonna pour this over and then I'm gonna broil it. We don't know if this is gonna work. Some salt and pepper. Anyone? Uh, you have to cover things to broil them. Luckily it's already preheated. I'm gonna broil. And now we're just gonna watch it. Okay, the fish is done. I'll show you. Yum. Looks like rice. Fish. Crazy. Um, doesn't look that good, but. Okie dokie. So the asparagus is not done. Some rice and some mahi. I put some garlic on top. Honestly, it's actually easier to eat than like chicken, in my opinion. And we do have our coffee. So, super exciting. Rosie just went. Okay, bye. I'm eating some asparagus. It's good, but I burnt it. And also, the really thick parts, I just can't chew them. So, ASMR. Mm. Actually, I like it. It be the booty for me. Hmm. Okay, bye. I'm gonna make chicken. Um, I don't know what meal this is because I'm gonna be honest with you. Yesterday, I meal prepped the rest of my meals, but then I was running late and I had to go to Grit, which is a hit class. And then I just stayed in town and I didn't have the camera so I couldn't record. So I'm just gonna show you the meals that I finished today, which is gonna be the same as I ate yesterday. So it's the same thing. We're gonna make some chicken. So, Let's see, can we see over there? Chef Bella up here. Okay, so first thing I do is, oh my God, this is so gross. I'm gonna put my chicken in this bag and I'm gonna pound it so that it's flat. Because let me tell you, ain't nothing I hate more than some thick chicken. Just finished back and buys. Super fun time of my life. Can't wait to shower. I'm gonna make chicken first. I'm gonna make chicken in the shower. Should I eat my chicken in the shower? Psych. Also, this bag looks nasty because I just made some chicken for my dad. For chicken bag. I'm gonna use this cool little tool. I know, so impressive. The fun part, not the spiky part. I have made that mistake before. And then I spray my pan with some Pam. Put my chicken in. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic to it. Ah! Okay, come on. Put it in the pan. Turn on the stove. Throw the bag way deep into the trash can. I'm gonna add some seasonings. So I'm gonna add salt, pepper, garlic. Look who the. It smells like poop in there. Why? Is it because I just pooped? Probably. Oh. Over there. We found a, a little egg in there. The from Easter? No, a little egg. Oh, really? Yeah. A bird egg? Yeah, it was crunchy. An animal egg? Yeah. Would be in my cooking vlog? Joey taught me this trick. Lid goes on top and then it cooks without burning. Did you do what? I have to do. I'm so out of breath from running through the yard. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna also eat rice. Let me put it in my food. You and me both decided to, like, almost like a project together work on your account. Inspiring. Instead of just you making all the edits and stuff. How you get both trying to edit, like, a computer and stuff. Yeah, I don't think we're. Actually, I'm not eating rice. I'm gonna eat it with salad, with spinach. And then I'm gonna do a cup of spinach and some arugula. Um, and then I'm gonna put in a little bit of. Iceberg lettuce just for like crunchiness. Crunchiness! Or should I put cucumber in? We'll do cucumber instead of iceberg. 
Okay. So what's 85 divided by 3? You're asking me? Like, why would I know that? Asking you? Oh. Why would I ask someone like you? I don't know. 28 grams of spinach. Oh my god. This is whack, honestly. Arugula is whack. Straight up. Mm. Let's see. Uh, I don't want to add arugula. There's a lot of fat in it. I didn't know that. Anyway. Okay, we're doing cucumber. I decided today that I like my chicken burnt. Mmm. We're cutting it up and putting more on the salad and measuring it at the same time. Chicken salads are so much more appealing when you get them out to eat. So I'm trying to make them restaurant-y. I'm putting it on a plate. You know, that's restaurant-y. Right, we did it. Four and a half ounces of chicken. Let's look at it, it's pretty actually. Lettuce is falling, spinach is falling. So I'm gonna add a little bit of balsamic, a little bit of red wine vinegar, and then some lemon. 